Have you guys ever thought about where bitcoins come from? Now, we all know about paper money and the fact that the government is in charge of deciding how much currency should be printed and distributed. But Bitcoin? Bitcoin does not have a governing authority of any kind whatsoever. Bitcoin mining is the process of putting new bitcoins into circulation and verifying them so they can be added to the Bitcoin system. So welcome back to the YouTube channel, let's get techie. As always, I'm your host Luke, and in today's video we're going to talk about Bitcoin mining and we'll take a look inside the world's largest Bitcoin mine to learn more about the process that actually takes place. So if you're curious enough to learn more about what's inside the world's largest Bitcoin mine, then why not give this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, why not hit that subscribe button while you're at it. So getting back to the video. Miners on the Bitcoin network use specialized software to solve mathematical problems and are rewarded with a predetermined number of Bitcoins for their efforts. This not only makes the process of issuing the currency much more efficient, but it also creates an incentive for more people to participate in the mining process. If Bitcoin mining were a country, it would be ranked 61st in terms of energy use. This is due to the fact that the Bitcoin networks are estimated to have the computing capacity of over 3.7 million supercomputers. Mining operations for Bitcoin and traditional data centers share a number of fundamental similarities, including their basic designs and modes of operation. The facility must have power brought into it and distributed to the equipment, air distribution systems must be installed to cool the equipment, and the building must offer shelter from the weather and any potential dangers that may be lurking outside. So, almost all the Bitcoin mines have the exact same facility. When someone mines for Bitcoin, they are actually providing the Bitcoin network with their unused processing power. Approximately 6.25 new Bitcoins are generated approximately every 10 minutes. A global pool of miners fights against one another to see who can release a batch of new Bitcoins first in order to determine who will get the privilege of minting these new tokens. The greater a miner's online capacity, the greater their proportion of the total hash rate is, and the greater their potential reward should be if they are successful in mining Bitcoin. Previously, Delina China was the world's largest Bitcoin miner until Winstone US Riot Blockchain Inc. took over. The largest Bitcoin factory in the US is in Texas. It consumes enough power for the equivalent of half a nuclear reactor. It contains 38,300 computers running at full capacity. Early in the year 2020, construction on the Winstone facility began. On site at Winstone are a number of different structures, each of which is stacked 20 feet high with rows of computer technology that have been created expressly for this purpose. The company is creating more than 500 Bitcoin each month at its current capacity, and at the rates prevailing now, this amount is approximately $30.7 million or $368 million per year. The company estimates that it has approximately 100,000 machines operating on the premises alone. At the beginning of this year, Riot paid $80 million in cash and shares for the Winstone mine, which is currently considered to be the largest mine in all of North America. The business is still in the process of growing, and when the 100-acre plot of land is completely built up, it is expected that the cryptocurrency mine will be able to use 750 megawatts of power. To put it into perspective, the central business district of Dallas only utilizes 200 megawatts of electricity. So, it's like having downtown Manhattan and downtown Dallas all in their backyard. That quantity of power for the mine is available through the grid. The mine is equipped with specialized equipment in order to adjust the voltage to a level that is usable. Transformers take the power from a substation and reduce the voltage so it may be used to power Bitcoin miners. This lower voltage can then be used by the miners personally. The fact that Winstone constructs its own substation gives the company an advantage over competing mining companies that are interested in establishing operations. At the moment, they are putting in three transformers that can handle a total of 100 megawatts. When you approach the main hall, there are 20 rows of computers stretching approximately 300 meters long, each producing a deafening roar. In total, there are more than 38,000 computers operating at max speed, all the same, each one running the exact same program, all connected to one another and including two fans. The mass effect is such that the computers produce a current of air which comes in cool from the outside through cells and then is expelled hot into a cooling chamber and then escapes through the roof. At Winstone, at the largest Bitcoin mining plant in the United States, which is located in Rockdale, a little rural hamlet in the middle of Texas between the cities of Houston and Austin, 
Mining is the process of participating in the operation of the vast and decentralization of Bitcoin transaction networks. In exchange for their services, miners are rewarded with free Bitcoins, which helps to build their wealth. In the previous month, miners were able to earn 16 Bitcoin each day using a combined total of 38,300 machines. During the mining process, the rigs carry out the tasks of computer software that solves millions of mathematical equations. It takes a lot of effort to perform all of these calculations, which is why the hardware becomes hot so quickly. Fans, which are used to cool things down and prevent them from overheating, are very often installed at every single facility. At the Windstone location, these hot air currents are sent by separate fans to a central hallway called the Hot Isle. However, Riot is currently experimenting with immersion cooling in a few buildings at the Windstone campus. The computers are immersed in a specific fluid that maintains a low working temperature for the integrated circuits and keeps the processors cool. After that, the heat fluid is pumped and circulated to assist in the process of dissipating the heat, and following that, the fluid is then cooled and pushed back into the system. According to the company, this is the first time that something of this nature has been done on an industrial scale. About 46,000 Antminer ASICs from the S19 series are expected to be placed in the structures that use immersion cooling. Riot's chief executive officer, Jason Less, believes that this will significantly impact the company's bottom line. Due to this technology, the company expects to see a rise in their hash rate and productivity. The chief executive officer of Winstone, Chad Harris, is the person responsible for the construction of the factory, which began in the early part of 2020. There are a total of seven warehouses similar to one another, of which three are currently undergoing development. One of them makes use of an experimental method in which thousands of computers have been cooled by being immersed in a unique oil. This helps to keep the computers from overheating whilst also improving their overall performance. It's an odd contrast to observe these computers operating while submerged in liquid while maintaining their silence. However, this does not prevent them from consuming a significant amount of power. At some point in the future, the electrical capacity of Windstone will increase from 300 megawatts to 700 megawatts, which is approximately as much as half of an atomic reactor. Chad Harris claims that although it is not a nuclear power plant, it does produce a significant amount of electricity. There is a large supply of gas there in Texas, so the mine company is taking advantage of that. The mine company burned the gas to produce the electricity, Chad Harris then converts the electricity into bitcoins using the fuel. And last but not least, when compared to June 2021's output of 243 BTC, Riot's production in June 2022 was 421 BTC representing an increase of nearly 73% when compared to that month's output. As of the 30th of June 2022, Riot had a total of around 6,654 BTC in its possession, all of which were mined by the company itself. In June of 2022, Riot completed a sale of 300 Bitcoin, which resulted in a net profit of around $6.2 million. Riot currently has a mining fleet with 42,455 machines and a hash rate capacity of 4.4 exahashes per second. Now with all of that being said, we're going to come to a close on today's video. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and if you did, then don't forget to like and share the video. Also, if you're new to the channel, remember, hit that subscribe button and remember to hit the bell icon too. Thank you once again for watching this video, I'll see you in the next one, have a wonderful time.